Hey everyone, it's Trader Rob. Four days, four trading days left in April. Let's see here if we can get at least some of the morning strategies back to break even. The Rob Aversal back to break even. We're gonna try one trade at a time right after the intro. As always, nothing that I state on my channel is financial advice, trading futures, or any type of trading is risky business. Any capital that is put out there is at risk for loss. Okay, so as I stated, uh, today is April 25th. Uh, we got about four more trading days left here, uh, left to go in April, and we need some banger of a days. Um, that's just, that's the only way I could put it. Um, Let's see here. Obviously, yesterday, uh, yesterday oil actually oil has had four losing sessions in a row. Um, gold had a really nice winner yesterday. But let's just get into uh, oil first. I always like to show my losers first, and we get activated into the short. This is oil session one. Uh, so right here, you get activated. Um, goes, you know, there was the momentum that we were looking for leading into oil inventory report. This thing just ranged for almost an hour, actually not an hour, but probably about 40 minutes and reversed on us right as the report came out and then came right back down. Uh, we did get another opportunity in oil session two. I like the trade. I like the setup. Um, you know, obviously very strong retracement candle here. A little unfortunate, tapped into um, tapped into the long. Again, we got good movement out, but quickly reverse knocked us out for a second loser in oil. So oil session one and two were both losers yesterday. Um, bright spot yesterday was in gold. Uh, we get uh, a setup that formed at 8.10 in the morning, close 8.15 candle, goes to the short. Pretty large trade, 32 ticks, full take profit. That was a beautiful trade. We needed that one in gold. Um, as far as the Rob reversal yesterday, uh, let's see, this is this morning. Yesterday, no, no trade. Let's see if I can bring this up here. Sorry, here we go. So again, um, setup formed at 7.30 in the morning. That's pre-session. We do not look at that. We get another setup at 1.15 to go short, closed above the ADMA. No, it's invalidated, keeps you out of a bad trade. So no setup there. To be honest with you, the Rob Reversal has, I think it's been like three hits now in a row. So I mean, if we can get another one here today or tomorrow, that would be fantastic. Um, as far as the dashboard, we're almost back down to break even again. So we're right where we started off. We had this account at $51,501, but April has obviously proved to be an extremely challenging month. Uh, so we currently sit at $50,038. Now, for those of you that have watched some of my live stream, you guys are on my Discord, I am a pretty superstitious person. Um, I, I know it's not the... It's not the greatest trait, um, especially as a rules and condition-based trader, um, but I am going to stick to my initial, my original plan of trading oil session two and gold. I like the position sizing better. It seems like these, you know, I'm trading two micros, three micros. It's a little difficult to trade like that. Um, so. You know, maybe in the future I go to a 100K account where I could trade the right size for all three. Um, but the fact that oil session one and gold session overlap each other, many times there's a scenario where you where you take a, a trade and you get into simultaneous trades at the same time. And that five contract limit on top step 50K account kind of hinders me in that scenario. Um, so I'm comfortable with trading gold comfortable trading oil session two. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I, I could tell you right now, just based off of whatever I change something, I guarantee you oil session one is going to get red hot, but it is what it is. Um, so that is the game plan. 
as far as our levels, uh, I already stated in Discord today that based on this 7.30 a.m. Um, news this morning, it we obviously, all of the equities had a pretty big sweep to the both sides. So it did knock down a lot of your lower time frame levels. Um, and what I stated was it's today it would be best to look at fresh levels um, from the market open and beyond. So trading opportunities might not be the best here this morning. Uh, on the YM, again, we had a 15 minute level at 38,473, got tapped into. We had a, a strong level at 38,234, got tapped into. So beyond that, on the downside, you've got 38,125 and 38,081. Possible trading opportunity right down here for a simple, and I say simple loosely, but for a simple trade right back to this level here, and then using this line right here, you know, obviously a few ticks underneath it um, as your stop loss. So that's what I see in the YM. If we take a look at the NQ, pretty similar scenario. We do have a pretty big 15 minute gap up here. So again, shorts up here do not look um, enticing to me at all. So again, I would m much rather be taking longs off of a bounce um, on the NQ and probably the YM. We've got a strong level at 17.517. This already got tapped into and we've got a strong level at 17.420. This also got tapped into already this morning, again, off of that 7.30 a.m. news. Uh, we've got another strong level at 17.374. This is where price action is currently at. And then below that, we've got 17.325. Not many five minute um, not many five minute levels where again, I, I I find I find that you know the more levels that you have that are closer together, it's just easier for your your take profit and your stop loss. You know what you're trying to go to, you're trying to get to another level, and um, you've got a clear stop loss, which would be another main level underneath it. So kind of everything hopefully is starting to make sense on how I trade this. I am going to create a video just because a lot of people have been asking for it um, that kind of goes a lot into detail on how do I set up my chart, how I set up my levels, um, and what I'm looking for each morning. On the ES, so again, very similar scenario. On the 15 minute, you do have a gap here above at price action right at 5090 all the way up to 5102. Again, would not be entertaining any shorts up here. Um, you just, it's just too big of a gap here for, for me to be tradable. Now we are at a major level, a 15 minute level at 5043, which we're currently tapping into right now. And we've got a level right underneath it at 5040. Again, possible trading opportunity right here. And this would look like very simply a bounce. Let's see here. How can I do this? Doop, doop. So bounce right here with a clear stop loss of right here. So your stop would be about four points and you're probably going for about six points. Same scenario down here. Um, you know, I would look for a trade maybe at the open, something that would look very similar to that right there with this again being your stop loss. So those are the levels. They're uh, uploaded in Discord each morning. Uh, let's see here. We need to get in profit today. That's very simple. We just got to be in profit cash and eval um, and need to get into profits here uh, this morning. So stick around. The trades will be coming up in a few minutes. Order canceled. All right. So here we get into our first um, trade of the morning, which is in gold. Um, here we get activated into the long um, based off of that green inside bar. Um, Got to remember that that is your that's your inside bar entry. We do get another inside bar right after it, um, but our entry and so our orders to go long and to go short stay on straddled on that green inside bar. Now we did have a pretty large um, source candle, so this was a max thirty five tick trade. And right out of the gates, I mean, I should have actually probably reduced my risk here in half, which if I look at it now, 
It would have been dicey. That would have been really, really close to um, possibly a loss right there. But I, t to be honest with you, I was making my coffee at this at this moment and came back into the chart, saw that huge, nice momentum push outside of the inside bar. It's exactly what we're looking for. You know, when you get multiple inside bars, I feel that the strategy even gets stronger. So the edge even gets even more um, more pronounced in the trade. And now at this point, I do believe that I, um, I do believe that I reduce my risk down, um, here to 50%, uh, at, there he goes. So right there, half the risk is off the table. Now at this point, all I'm looking for is a final push from buyers to, to take full take profit, which would be fantastic to have this um, first trade on the eval and in cash um, on the GC as well. So beautiful trade in gold this morning. Target filled. All right, and here is oil session two. Um, it was actually, I remember at this moment, I was switching between the Rob reversal that was also kind of going on, I believe it right at the same time. Um, but here we get activated into the short based off of that red inside bar. Now again, today I only traded oil session two, did not trade session one. That trade had already concluded. Um, so now at this point, as you can see, you've got that green inside bar, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, which I believe might have been the inside bar from oil session one. You've got that black down bar. You've got the white up bar. You've got the red inside bar. Um, all just kind of really showing some consolidation, some market indecision. And again, we are our only play with these inside bars is a temporary um, momentum play to a very clear and defined take profit, which... The take profit is based off of whatever our source bar, which in this case is that white up bar to the left of the red candle. Our stop loss goes on top of that. And based on that, how many ticks that is, that's exactly what we're looking for as our take profit. Um, and this momentum play here played out very, very nicely. Um, this is the exact movement that we're looking for out of that area of consolidation. Again, here, I probably should have taken my risk off the table. I should have taken 50% off my risk of my table just because we are already at more than 70% take profit. Um, but this one does hit pretty quickly. Full take profit, oil session two. So far, fantastic day um, trading. Target filled. Wow. What a banger of a day today. I actually had one of the best trading days. I know it's definitely one of the best trading days of this year for sure. And maybe, especially in my cash account, which I will show you those trades, I think that this might be the highest I've ever had in one day. Um, made some small tweaks this morning. Um, I said that I was only going to trade oil session two. I was going to trade gold, um, trade those in the same position, position sizing that I had the previous month. I feel really comfortable with that and got the Rob reversal kick in. Um, so let's just jump into it. I, I'm excited. Obviously, you got a big smile on my face. Um, in pretty much all of my accounts were in the green today. Let's start with the morning strategies. Um, let's go with gold. So gold, we got a beautiful setup here at 8.20 in the morning, close 8.25 candle. So right here, uh, let's put this guy right here just to demonstrate. Uh, again, you're gonna have your entry order at the top of this inside bar. So right there would be your entry long, and right here would be your entry short, okay? Um, now you do get another inside bar right after it. As I've stated many times, I feel like those setups are even stronger. They don't come around as much, but when they do, boy, it's 
turn usually turns out to be a pretty damn good trade. Um, now, obviously, we get activated here into the um, into the long. So your order to go short automatically gets canceled as it's an OCO order. Order cancels order, and let's figure out our positioning. Very simple to do. Here's your entry at the top of this inside bar. Now, if you put your stop loss all the way to the bottom of our source bar, that's 75 ticks, huge source bar. Anything that is 40 ticks and, and higher, I automatically reduce it down to 35 ticks. That's exactly what I'm looking for on my take profit. And that was that beautiful trade that you saw, 35 ticks, max trade in gold, which was fantastic. Took that one in my cash account as well. And what else did I do? Took that one out in the GC too. That was a that was a $350 trade, which is for one trade for me, it's it's a pretty big, um, pretty big trade. And let's take a look at the CL. Did not trade session one, which ended up being a loser. So again, um, small tweak that I made this morning just because I really wanted to feel comfortable trading and I really like that position position sizing that I am doing based off of that 50k um, so did not take session one this was a loser for 25 ticks so that kind of stunk for session one session two which I got in right on this 910 915 close candle right here um, we got activated into the short, 27 ticks. Took that one also in cash. I um, think I took that one in with five micros. I think it was five or four micros in cash. Um, so that was also a beautiful trade, oil session two. Eval today sits up $223, which is a huge boost to that account. Um, and then let's get into the rob reversal now before i start with the rob reversal we had two of them today one was a loser one was a winner so why why am i so excited still well it's a good question let's pull up the uh rob reversal on the cash account got it blurred out here um what does that say green 714 dollars bam so when I say that this was the best day I have had trading, it's the it's the truth for damn sure I know for 2024 this is the highest grossing PL I've ever had on my cash account. Um and quite frankly, I'd have to go back into 20. I actually, you know what? I take this back because in 2023, I don't know if you guys remember. But I took a very silly mistake. I always talk about how dumb I am with some of my mistakes. But I actually had one mistake back in 2023 that um, proved to be a really stupid mistake that was extremely profitable. I remember taking an oil trade with my ATM strategy set to trading it with five micros. At that time, I was trading that with five micros. Well, I had the chart set to the CL and it 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 was a winning trade and I think I ended up making like $1200 on that. But that was like a mistake. Like today was truly trading, you know, pure trading. So, that's the way that's the way I'm going to look at it. Um so as you guys know on the cash account, um the last I want to say 4 or 5 um days of trading the Rob reversal, probably for the last 2 weeks. What I have done is I set my stop loss at 35 points, uh, which is the same as the original strategy. And instead of just going for a set 35 points, what I do is I, I set the trailing feature that is in my or in the strategy that was created by one of our members. And what that will do is it will just trail the, the tops of the candles if you're going short. It'll trail the bottom of the candles if you're going um, to the long and either it knocks out with the trailing stop or it hits the 70 points so it's a pretty much a two for one uh, risk to reward now that strategy is actually proven to be pretty damn profitable for me 
just be, and again, I'm only trading this with two micros, two micros, that's it, two micros. So we had, I was up already, I want to say five, I don't remember, it was like five or 600 bucks um, when we took this trade right here. So we got to set up at 9 a.m. to go short. This thing ended up being a loser. Again, lost the 35 points. So with two micros, I think that comes out to about $140 of loss. Uh, so I was a little bummed with that. My account was looking really, really good. And then I'm like, ah, oh, crap, I took a $140 loss. And I said, you know what? We've had many days this month where we've had two Rob reversals, one winner, one loser, one winner, one loser. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave this guy running. And sure as shit, we get another setup to go long at 12.30 this afternoon. And the pattern is correct. Time condition is correct. We get activated on the very next candle. And this thing goes for 70 points. So not only did I make up my 35 points of loss over here, but I added another 35 points of profit right here. So this grand total then for today came up to $714. Now, for some of you that are watching this video, you might be like, well, Rob, that's no big deal. Um, for me, that's a huge day in the market, like a huge, huge, huge day. When I say that it's the biggest P&L day that I've had on my cash account, that is, um, you know, it. I'm excited. I'm happy for it. Uh, so this worked out really, really well. Also on my eval, I had um, pretty much break even on that trade because that was worth set to 35 take profit, 35 stop loss. So those pretty much um, canceled out. Probably ended up losing a little bit of money just in commissions on that one. Now let's go into the levels. Um, took a really nice trade on the funded account today. Uh, could have been better. So let me just start with that. It could have been better. But I am, I'm going to give you my entire thinking of what was behind the trade, um, posted it in Discord. So, you know, and you guys saw earlier in this video kind of what my thinking was on the levels for today. Um, as I stated, the NQ, the YM, both really didn't look very appealing to me. Um, the only thing that I would want to look for was longs off of a bounce, longs off of a retracement into a level. That's the only thing that I was looking for today. Clear plan. I wanted to take one trade and I took it. So on the NQ, uh, if we go back to about 8.30 in the morning, remember I said, oh, this is getting right to that line. Um, now I didn't take this trade because what do we have here? We've got a big gap here. I got no level here that I feel comfortable with with putting a stop loss, okay? So did not take these trades at all in the NQ. Let's take a look at the YM, another one that I wasn't very fond of this morning. Again, I said early at, during my video, said if it comes down to here, this has got at least an opportunity to, uh, to take a long, and you had a strong level behind it, but again, nothing, just very open price action. Look at this gap here. It just it's for me that is what i consider tradable and non-tradable is clear stop loss now could this have been a trade uh let's see right here yeah i could very easily have made a point uh or a case to take a long here to go right back to here i would have got stopped out on this one um so i just didn't feel very comfortable with the ym did not trade it. Let's get into what I did trade, which was the ES, which seems to be what I'm trading now almost every day. Uh, this gap from the morning time got filled on this on this um, candle right here. Not not even looking at that because where the action was at was down here. So if you remember in the beginning of my video, um, I even pointed these these two scenarios right here. I said, here's a, an opportunity for a bounce. Here's an opportunity for a bounce. Now I missed this one. I would have taken this trade right here, but I ended up missing it. Bounced right to my level, came right back to this level. I was not going to miss this next touch. I set my 
my order to go long right at this um, major level, 50.29, have my stop loss maybe, um, where was it at? 50, what is this? 50.25, uh, might've even been down just a little bit more than that. That's where my stop was at. And got the got, got my entry to go long. And then I'm into this trade. And this trade started off over here, five minute candle. Um, you know, it was in profit and then it kind of came back down, had a little bit of a retracement. And then I'm thinking to myself, well, what if we want to sweep this low here? You know, I, do I want to take a $200 loss on this funded account and then get this? I got a really nice move up and then a kind of a small retracement. And I knew that you know, you, you want to get in the funded accounts, you got to get like five $200 day positive days. So I'm like, you know what? My, my, um, my take profit was somewhere at maybe like eight points or something like that, um, for this first level. And I punched out and I it was up, like it said it was up 250, but when I punched out, it actually went down to 20970. So I don't know if this is already taken out some commissions or not, but, um, the bounce was there, you know, I could have I could have held it. I could have held it right to this level right here. You know, again, it's the emotional side of this type of trading that is very challenging for me. I'm getting much better at confidence in the levels, but at the same time, it is just so much more raw emotion that comes out um, that I don't necessarily feel with my morning strategies. I have very clear take profit, stop loss, and I'm trying to do the same thing with the with the um, ES or any of the instruments that I'm trading. It's just, again, it's not as clear cut for me. Hopefully I get better at it. And then after that, um, obviously we just had a pretty, a pretty big spike here. Um, but again, I mean, the levels, there's a reason why you start to see these levels right here where price action goes up, comes right back down, comes up, taps into it, and then wants to leave, goes into the next level. Um, and then, you know, right here, 50, 65. I mean, it's just, I don't know, They, I guess they just work. Um, you know, granted, if you've got tons of levels and you got tons of lines in your chart, then yeah, everything might work. But I'm looking for, I already said it from the morning time, I'm only looking for a retracement with a long opportunity. And that is exactly what I was presented at right here. When I saw this movement right back down, I said, you know what? This is the perfect long. I've got a very specific target. I've got a very specific stop loss. Granted, I have kind of a big gap here. That is where my emotion kind of came into play on this trade, where I didn't, why I didn't hold it for eight or 10 points. That's, that's where it is. Um, I believe I got five points out of this trade, so about halfway there. Um, but again, just a just a really nice day of trading. Um, that's just the best way that I can sum up today. I'm pretty excited, and um, hopefully you guys had a great day today. I will see you guys here tomorrow, Friday, um, last last day of the week. If we can go out tomorrow with a bang, um, I will be feeling really, really good for the next week. I'll see you guys here tomorrow. Happy trading, everyone.